Let's do some damage, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another vid of my of my own. Uh, it's me, Eximius, uh, one of the admins for the GLF, and this is my first VC2 vid. So, let's begin. This uh, mission is a third grade level 80 mission. Uh, the post game mission is called Proof of, Proof of Friendship, I believe. Uh, it, it consists of basically six enemy units in one very simple map. It consists of Dirk, two V2 units, a enemy ace fencer, a supply vehicle, which is right over here, and a ghost tank. So the first thing to do is to buff. And we're going to do this as a no turn as a one turn no damage run. And as you can see, Dirk can actually attack you from across the map. Uh, his range is that high. But if you use this statue in between you, you'll still have a sideline, but he won't actually be able to fire on you. Okay, let me get out of there. Okay, now we're gonna have to deal with a ghost tank. And we got Yugen for this. Right about there, a little bit more to the right. Right there. And Yugen always has the max versus armor potential whenever you use him. He's one of the best lancers in the game. And he is an excellent Clint Eastwood impersonator. <laughs> Listen to his voice. <laughs> it's funny. Yes. Do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? Worst Clint, Clint Eastwood impersonator ever. Okay. Now we gotta deal with these two V2 units. And we're going to use Marion for this, which I made her a Gunner Elite. And I have a point to make about Gunner Elites in this game. I'll show it to you right now. Okay, walk slowly towards the statue. And what we're gonna do is called a targeting, pretty much an exploit. V2s have a very, very large uh, lag in their attack, so we're just basically going to repeat, attack, and aim until we get very close to the enemy ace. This might take a while. See, now they're both trying to kill me. Oh yeah, one turn, no damage run. Let's see this thing work. Thank goodness. Now we're gonna deal with the second one. Should be good enough to reach his head. Three shots should be able to make it from here. Yes. Oh, we don't need that now. Oh, that helps too, but let's see. No, of course it wouldn't make it. That ace has an unusually high dodge rate. So, 
Now what we're gonna do is try to make it to that truck without getting shot. And we've done it. Now the key thing here is to not create a sight line with Dirk. And because you don't have a sight line with Dirk, it'll it'll do something very strange to his AI. I just have to show it to you. But you do want to keep a sight line with the enemy ace. Let's see if I can position this properly. Uh, that should be good. Okay. Okay, now I have to explain something. On his first, on basically in the enemy phase, the first move he's going to do is initiate an order, an accuracy up order. And it's kind of useless because if you look at what the enemies are, the units that are left, uh, you have a you have Defensor who really doesn't need accuracy, and you have Dirk himself who already has maximum accuracy. So it's a useless order in general anyway. So after he issues his order, the first thing he's going to do. He's going to go into exploration mode. He's basically going to go walk right over here, up to this point. And if he doesn't see any enemies within this distance, he's not going to engage anyone, and he'll just stop. Then after that, he's going to spend his second CP and go into capture the enemy camp mode. And this is what I was talking about, Chris, when I said that VC2 gameplay was so engrossed in camp defense that the AI is pretty much tailor-made to go capture your camp. And even though he will end up seeing Marion as he walks in this general direction, he will not engage her. He will just take that interception fire damage and just keep on going towards your camp. It doesn't make any sense. So I'll just have to show it to you. you ready for this? First, let me get into focus. This is kind of difficult. There we go. Now watch the power of Marion Zegon. Oh, and by the way, Dirk in this mission is actually Iron Man. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> See, he's gonna go there, and he'll just stop. And then, he'll go into exploration mode, and then he'll just go and capture that camp. And do absolutely nothing, except take damage and just die. And then this enemy ace is dead. There you go! One turn, no damage. It's not as glamorous, but hey, it's a one turn, no damage. Alright, right, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see if you can do this yourself. Not that hard.